The headlines, minor injuries on a day of accidents, a setback for Digicel, and rain threatens to rob the Wendy's of match practice. Welcome to Nation News for Wednesday, October the 7th, 2015. Thanks for joining us. We begin with a claim from a senior official of the Ministry of Agriculture that crop theft is now big business carried out by organized and focused bandits. Speaking during a plant clinic for farmers, head of the ministry's extension unit, Barney Callender, said thieves are now working together and are able to harvest large areas of crops in a short space of time. Mr. Callender said that if farmers take a break from their fields for even an hour, thieves move in. On a more positive note, he said that thanks to the work of the ministry, farmers have the knowledge to combat pests and diseases. 18 people received minor injuries when a ZR van and a car collided along Maxwell Road in Christchurch, one of at least 10 road accidents in the morning rush hour. 16 passengers on the ZR and both drivers complained variously of back, knee, hand and chest pains in the Maxwell collision. Citing the number of accidents, police spokesman Station Sergeant Roland Cobbler appealed to motorists to be more careful, especially when it is raining, as it was in the morning. Unfavorable market conditions have been cited by Digicel as the reason behind its decision to pull out of a plan to try to raise up to $4 billion on the New York Stock Exchange. The money was to be used partly to reduce the telecom company's debt, which runs into billions of dollars. Its Irish owner, Dennis O'Brien, said that volatility, especially in emerging markets, discouraged him from pursuing the public fundraising option at this time. Analysts quoted by CNBC have suggested that Digicel's balance sheet is weak and the firm may not be the most attractive of investments at this time. Digicel has reiterated that its growth plans remain unchanged and it will be looking at strengthening its interest in data, business solutions, cable TV and broadband. Cultural entrepreneurs have been told that they will not thrive unless they form associations and have strong representation. Lynette Eastman, the former Commerce Minister and President of the Barbados Film and Video Association, said that having representative bodies was a strength of traditional sectors like law, engineering and medicine. Ms. Eastman was speaking on Tuesday night during an International Business Week panel discussion. And still we haven't learned the importance of organizations, we think it is not important to work together, but I think it is even more important for individuals who live in a small country like Barbados to come together. So we've been, we've been, for example, playing music from the time people landed on Barbados, but still there doesn't seem to be an association of musicians. So how can you come together to lobby for anything? I can tell you for sure that if the Barbados Film and Video Association did not exist, there's no way that filmmakers could have got that brand of $800,000. The number of people being diagnosed with breast cancer each year continues to increase, but they are also being detected earlier, increasing the chances of survival. Medical coordinator of the Cancer Society's Breast Screening Program, Dr. Shirley Jagru, said people from as early as their 20s were coming forward. Last year we had 20. This year, up to June, January to June, we already have 13 new cases. And most of them were diagnosed early, between stage zero and stage two, which is for us um, very good news. And, that, and the other thing is, the younger people being diagnosed. Uh, yes, we had them in their twenties. Dr. Jagru said there was a high level of awareness among Barbadians, and she was especially pleased with the large numbers who turned out to walk for a cure last Sunday, October is Cancer Awareness Month. In sport, the playing start of the West Indies tour of Sri Lanka has been put back by a day. 
The three-day warm-up match now begins on Friday, a 24-hour delay due to poor weather before the tourists move to Gaul for the first test, which begins next Wednesday. Sri Lanka announced on Tuesday that the two-match test series will be named the Sobers Tassera Trophy after West Indies great Sagadi Sobers and Sri Lanka batsman Michael Tassera, who was among the island's preeminent cricketers in the pre-test era. And finally, if you have some interest in having a pig as a pet, <laughs> then this story might be of interest to you. Tiny pigs, created by genetic editing techniques pioneered at a Chinese science center, are to be sold as pets. What's more, in the future, the Institute promises to offer miniature pigs in a variety of coat colors and patterns, which will be achieved through further gene editing. Sounds like they'll be so cute, you'll be kissing them in your beds. <laughs> and that's Nation News for Wednesday. For more news, log on to nationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And remember to pick up your Daily Nation on Thursday or subscribe to our e-paper.